Okay. Um, we are getting down to the to the topic uh, in POM, which is uh, inventory management. And we'll look at the, okay. So we'll look at the, the question from the exam paper. All right. So first and foremost, I need to make mention that Inventory means stock, and of course, as much as we're going to look at this uh, uh, question, we'll be able to look at one model. There are three models, of course, we'll look at the exam paper, where we are going to look at production model. All right, so inventory means stock. And then we look at the advantages of keeping stock so that to keep stock so that the firm does not incur ordering cost every time you're making an order. The acquisition cost. And then, of course, the, the stock out cost. You are avoiding the stock out cost, the cost of losing business, you are avoiding it. So that's the advantage of keeping in stock, stock keeping. Okay. And uh, the most important thing here is to understand the reason of stock keeping. Okay, so when you are keeping stock, you are want to maintain the customer's goodwill, which is just created between uh, the, the firm and the customer. Okay, so it is just what you need to know as you are looking at stock keeping. Okay. That is just about what is going on. So keep stock so that the firm does not incur ordering cost, acquisition cost, and the stock out cost. Then, of course, you. Okay, you keep stock to maintain the customer's goodwill, which is just created between the business and the customer. The disadvantage of keeping stock, of course, we can go for any other, but the major ones, the disadvantage of keeping stock, the, the firm will continue incurring the current cost, okay, e.g. paying for warehousing salaries and wages, paying for the floor space charge, uh, related to warehousing activities and insurance of stock is a current cost, it's a continuous cost. Okay. Then, of course, the other disadvantage of stock keeping is that inventory may be damaged or spoiled. We're talking about inventory obsolescence. That's another disadvantage of keeping stock or stock keeping. All right. Now, there are three inventory models. Model one is a purchasing model when you're buying from suppliers. And then, of course, we have production model when you are just making your own goods. Okay, so this is about making your own goods in terms of this one. Then model three is a discount model you are given discount when buying in bulk. So this one is given discount uh, when buying in large quantities. We're given discount when buying in large quantities. Okay. So this is on how we look at this kind of a program. All right, so now let us we will look at the model called production model. So under production, 
Okay, under production model, the firm are producing their own goods. So here we are simply saying that firm is producing their own goods. The firm is producing uh, their own goods. Okay, this is only the production model. So we have what we call our economic load size. That's formula number one, which is 2D S over C, then multiply by P over P minus D. Okay, this is uh, where D is annual demand. So D is our annual demand. Then we have P is our daily demand. So this is the daily production cost, sorry about this. So our P is our daily production. Then a small D is our daily demand. So as we get to this one, we've got annual production. Then divide by the days of the year. We are dividing by days of the year. Then our daily demand, we look at the annual demand. Then divide by the days of the year. So this is our, our daily demand. So I want us, after you understand the, these ones, I want us to look at the, the exam paper, okay, which is uh, this one here. It's the reason why I'm explaining uh, this one, so that we look at this exam question paper. Question two that came in uh, one of the exam. This is the most recent example poem. I want us to look at question two. Now, before getting to question two, okay, um, we need to look at the aspect of what is going on here. All right. So let us get into length of production. So we are going to look at this question, but first and foremost, I want first to explain the whatever is involved in production model. Because here these are producing this. So that's why I want finishing up the formula sheet. So economic load size. This is economic load size. ELS is economic load size. Is economic load size or economic production size? Economic load size or production size? So economic load size or economic production 
size. Now you look at the other one, which is the uh, number of production runs, which is equal to Okay, it is just the D over Q. That's number two formula. Then you have cycle time, time between production runs, cycle time, which is the same as time between production runs. So our CT is actually equal to Q over D multiplied by the days of the year. So this is on the aspect of getting the, the cycle time, time between production runs. So this is coming from here, economic load size or production size. And of course, we are simply saying that this is represented by Q. This whole thing here is represented by Q. Okay. The number of production runs, cycle time, time taken between production runs. Then time taken to produce a batch, that's D, is called length of production run. Or time taken to produce a batch, time taken to produce A batch. So is equal to Q over P. So time taken to produce a batch is Q over P. All right, then we get into maximum inventory level. Maximum inventory level is equal to P minus D multiplied by Q over P. So where P minus D is actually called inventory build up. And then when you are doing the stock taking, Total stocking cost is actually Q over two P minus D over P by C plus D over Q on S. So this is annual carrying cost. And this is annual order, annual setup cost. Annual setup cost. Then the last one is total material cost. It's actually Q over two P minus D over P by C plus D over Q on S then plus SC times D. SC is a unit price. SC simply means acquisition cost per unit.
post the unit or D is on demand. Then our Q is equal to economic load size or production size. So meaning that if the final first question here, this formula is not correct, this Q is wrong, it will affect everything. Our S is set up cost. And our C is carrying cost. Now we have to make mention here that carrying cost is always a percentage of unit price. Carrying cost is equal to percentage of unit price. That is our current cost. All right, so this is just about what we, we have here from this model. So for those who are joining in just right now, don't worry, you be, the recording will be shared with you, okay? And uh, you will be at par. So production model is what you are looking at, producing their own goods using this formula. Economic load size, the most production size is called model two for inventory. And we're looking at the past exam paper for uh, May 2023. That's the question we'll look at. So we have the, this information here. Okay. So we'll be able to start. You will need to get to the information given in this question. All right, so this is what we have here. And uh, these are the only formulas that you need for model two, for production model. So we can look at a question now from the exam paper, the most recent exam may. The other semester, it says uh, a chemical firm produces sodium bisulfate in the 100 pound demand for this product is 20 tons per day. So we are getting down to the solution. Okay, question two, solution. I want us to get the information there as we sort out this. The next 20 minutes or so be done. Demand is equal to 20. The day. Okay, that's our demand. The capacity for producing is 50 tons per day. So that's the daily production. P is 50 per day. Then what else are we are we taught? Setup cost is for production. When you come across the, the term setup cost, it means that you are in production. Setup cost simply means production. So our setup cost is S. Okay, so our S, our setup cost is what? Okay, setup cost is how much? $100. That's our setup cost. Is $100. What other information are we given here? The other information is that the storage and handling, okay, is five dollars per ton a year. So they've given us uh carrying cost, holding cost is five dollars. Okay. Then 
this company operates 200 days a year. So days of the year, 200. So meaning that other days are not working. And then the first question says, how many bags they run are optimal? So they want us to find economic load size. Our economic load size is equal to 2DS over C multiplied by P over P minus D. So our economic load size is actually going to give us two multiplied by our D demand is equal to, I know demand is equal to 20 per day. Then multiplied by how many days of the year? 200. So this is the, uh, the annual demand to give us what? 20 times 200, 4,000. So the demand is 4,000 for the annual demand. Then setup cost is at $100. Then you divide this by five. So our economic load size is actually going to give us two times 4,000. Okay, so two times 4,000 times 100 divided by five is 400 units, so 400 tons. So this is 400 is our Q for the first one. So our Q is actually going to be that. That's answer is the first part of the question. So this is what we have on the first one. So economic load size is equal to 400. Then what would be the average inventory for this, so we need to find the maximum inventory first. Okay, then we divide by two. So what is happening here is that for production, we are just substituting because we have this formula here, which is 2ds over c multiplied by p over P minus D, the square root of this is our Q. This is what we used, because D is our annual demand. So our annual demand is equal to daily demand multiplied by days of the year. Is equal to daily demand multiplied by the days of the year. So this is how we are getting down to our annual demand. So that's how we found the 4,000. And all other questions will be straightforward once you get the first one correct. Once this one is correct as a Q of 400, then everything else will become straightforward. Now, uh, we are getting down to Average inventory. So let's find the maximum inventory. I gave the formula for maximum inventory level, which is this one. So we can substitute here to find maximum inventory. Our P is 50. So let's find maximum inventory first. Max. This is our number two, Roman. Maximum inventory is equal to P minus D. Then multiply by 
Q over P, which is 50 minus 20. Okay, so I simply say 50 minus 20, then multiply by 400 over 50. So our max inventory is actually going to give us, what answer are we getting? 50 minus 20, then times 400 divided by 50. So it's giving us what? 240, okay, units. Then how do we find the average inventory? Average inventory is actually going to be maximum inventory divided by two. So meaning is 240 divided by two, which is giving us what? 120 units. So please take note of what is going on here. All right, so this on Roman numeral two, Roman numeral one was ask, uh, asking us to get, so your maximum inventory here, here, the average inventory is 120 units. So length of production run, it's Q over P, which is our Q is 400, divide by 50. So time taken to produce a batch is eight days. So time taken to produce a batch is eight days because daily we are producing what? We are producing 50 units, but to produce a batch, we require 400 units. Then this is eight days. Number of production runs, it is D over Q. That's the formula for this one. All right. So meaning that our D is 4,000. Then you divide by Q of 400. So meaning we have 10 runs. So we are going to produce 10 times for us to meet the, the annual demand. Okay, the formula is here, number of production runs. Okay, so number of production runs is D over Q. So it's annual demand. So it's annual demand. You divide this one by what? The, the economic load size, which is the, the area uh, aspect here that we are looking at. So this is all what is involved here, getting down to this problem. So that's why the answers to this question two that came in May uh, 2023 exam, this is what was supposed to be sorted out. The first one on the economic load size, I've sorted it out this side where, where we substituted and we got the value of economic load size as, uh, as uh, 400 using this information. This is uh, the first one. All right. I'm sure everyone else is uh, following what is happening. Then how much could the company save annually if setup cost could be reduced to 25? So let us find this other one. Let's find this a, a new economic load size. So it will be two multiplied by uh, 4,000. Then multiply by our S is 25. Then over five, I'm sure we are using this is because I have to make mention here that the area setup cost was 100. Now it has been reduced to 
uh, the aspect of uh, uh, where we are getting uh, uh, 25, so 2 multiplied by 4,000 at 25 divided by 5, the square root answer, we are getting 200. So let us find the total stocking cost at Q. This is our Q, 200. This will be our new Q. Our old Q was uh, 400 when the setup cost was at uh, 100. So let us find the total stocking cost. We are almost winding up now. So total stocking cost, it is Q over 2. P minus D over P uh, by C and plus D over Q, okay, on S. So our total stocking cost is actually equal to, when Q is at 400, let's find what is going on. Our Q 400, we are simply saying 400 over 2. Our P was still at 50 minus 20 over 50 by our current cost was still at $5 plus 4,000 over Q is 400 only uh, 100 here before reduction. Our total stocking cost is giving us 400 divided by 2 times 30 divided by 50 times 5, which is 600 here. Then plus the other one here, which is 4,000 divided by 400 times 100, which is uh, 1,000. Okay, so we are simply getting one six at this point. Then we also find the total stocking cost at Q of 200. So it will be 200. Okay, so 200 divided by two, just that I'm a little bit fast because my time allocation is, uh, uh, Almost done because I'm only just many with two minutes before we wrap up this. Our current cost was still at five plus four thousand over two hundred. Okay, then our setup cost is twenty five this time. So two hundred divided by two times thirty. Divide by 50 times 5. So this is 300 here. Then plus 4,000 divided by 200 times 25 is 500. It means now that here we are going to have 800. So our savings will be 800. So savings will be a difference when there's a reduction. Okay, so our savings will actually be, savings will actually be equal to one six minus 800. So we are able to save the $800. Cause this is the total stocking cost was in dollars. So we are able to save $800. So this is just about the end of this question that came in this exam. So our savings here will be equal to uh, $800. So this marks the end of this question. Please take note to go follow the recordings and uh, you actually follow through because I've explained the anything else that you need in this model, which is inventory management model number two. So unless otherwise, you can end the class for now. And uh, I'm sure anytime soon, if it's not tomorrow or on Friday, between tomorrow and Friday, we'll be able to be in Osaka for those who need physical classes.
you will be able to attend and will be easier for for the exam. So end the class for now. I uh, sorry before you end, I joined a little bit late. I'm just are you able to just I'm just running. Are you able to just scroll from the top? Just slowly, not explaining, just scrolling from the top all the way to the bottom. Just maybe under a minute or two. Here.